I'm going to show you how to track time inside of monday.com. I'm going to show you the time tracking feature, how to use it, um, and how to use automation to manage it as well. So let's head straight over to monday.com. As you can see here, I'm in my monday.com system. This is an example system. Now, I'm going to walk you through time tracking. But firstly, why might you actually use time tracking? Well, you might use time tracking for billable. So if you need to track the amount of time for a client so you can bill them at the end of each month, then that's not a problem. And this feature will work perfectly for that. Or the alternative, you just want to see the amount of time you're spending on tasks, whether that be for billable or not, just to see how long a client is taking you to fulfill. Let's say you've got all of your clients on a retainer every month, they say $1,000, and one of them is taking up all of your time and the others are getting no time at all, then this might be a great way of managing that and hopefully optimizing the way you use your time for clients. So time tracking, let's go ahead and add a time tracking column. To do so, press the plus button on the far right hand side and go to more columns down the bottom here and just search really easy for time tracking. And this is the board power up column that we are looking for. Go ahead and press add to board. Now we've created our time tracking, super simple, right? So there are two ways we can manage time tracking. We can do it automatically or we can do it manually. Now I'm going to firstly show you how to do it manually. All you need to do is click into the time tracking for that particular item. So click in here and we just need to select add session manually. So I press add session manually. And let's say that I want to record if I press show full calendar last week on Saturday, for example, that I did one and a half hours. So 10, here we go, 10, 20. So it's an hour and 30 minutes, sorry. Um, and there we go. So now I want to record that against this particular item. All I literally need to do is press add session. And then that time is recorded. And then it will show me my total time here. Now I can click back in. I can clear this if I want to. And I can also export this information out to Excel. So if I am using this for billable for clients, I can then just put it into an invoice or it might be easier to manage if you export it from Excel. So that's how to manually add time. The alternative option is you can literally just press the play button and then that will track time just like this and add to seconds. And then if I press the pause button again, click in, you can see that a new session has been recorded for five seconds. Um, whether, whether you'd bill for that or not, I'm not too sure. I'm sure a lawyer somewhere would. So there is one feature that you can change with time tracking that relates to the seconds is if you press the three dotted button and go to settings here and go to customize tracking column, you can choose to show seconds or not. So whether seconds are going to be applicable for your tracking on the actual just main main view here is up to you. I'm going to go ahead and customize tracking and just select show settings for the sake of this video. So that is how to use time tracking in a nutshell. Very, very easy. I would imagine most people would just track their time, export to Excel at the end of the month, at the end of the week, and then send that over to their client. Um, but often people forget to time track, and that is a big issue. So I'm going to show you a way to circumvent this or at least hopefully reduce the likelihood of time being forgotten to be tracked. To do this, we're going to use automations and the status column here. So what I want to do is say when status is equal to working on it, then start time tracking. And then if status get changed, status gets changed to anything else, then I want to stop time tracking. So very easy to do. If we go to automate in the top right hand corner, go to board automations and press add automation. And of course, our trigger is when status changes to something, but it actually could be a lot of other things. So do bear that in mind. But when status and we need to select our status column and then changes to working on it, then we just need to go ahead and select the action, which is start timer, which is start time tracking and just go ahead and search for start. And then this should populate. And then you just need to select the uh, time tracking column, which is the only one we have on the board and press create automation. So now if I go ahead and change this from blank to working on it, that will trigger the start of time. You can see that the pause button, the play button has changed to pause and time tracking has begun. But we need to make sure we add automations to turn time tracking back off because otherwise you're going to run up a big bill for your clients. And that might be great for you, but I don't think they'll be particularly happy about it. So to do that again, just go to automate, press automation or add automation and we go when status changes to something when status changes to and let's just say done or lost for this example let's just use lost i know it doesn't perfectly match but it is what it is and then we need to go ahead and search stop so stop time tracking and select time tracking 
column that we did a moment ago and press create automation. Now you may choose to duplicate this. So you can just press the three dotted button, duplicate automation, and then change the status as well. So I'll show you when status also changes to done, create automation, then stop time tracking. So we're saying when status changes to working on its start, when status changes to either lost or done, stop time tracking. And then I'll go ahead, exit out of here. And then what I'll do is I'll change this to done and then that should automate um, and pause the time tracking as you can see it has done there. So that is the basics of time tracking inside of monday.com. Hopefully this video has been useful. Hopefully you can start managing the time taken on tasks, whether for billable or just generally managing the time or where your time is being allocated. If you do need any help setting up monday.com for your business, check out the link below. We would love to help. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.